there's a third of the population in the United States lives close to where the crossroads were where we're at. A third of the population in the United States within an easy half day drive. That's Dr. Jeff Underwood. He's the historian of the National Museum of the United States Air Force, which is located near Dayton, Ohio on Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Currently, we're in the Presidential Gallery of the National Museum of the United States Air Force. Now, it's in a hangar that's about a mile and a half away, as the crow would fly, from the museum itself. That mile and a half is posing a challenge for the museum. Of the million visitors or so, the National Museum of the United States Air Force gets here. We only get to show these wonderful aircraft to about 100,000 people. It's hard for us to bring visitors over here. We have to bring them in buses because of security measures, and that's simply not acceptable. I know what some of you are thinking. Why does it matter that 90% of the visitors aren't making it out to some World War II era hangar? I could give you a couple reasons, but it comes down to one aircraft. If you look at the aircraft that's behind my shoulder, that's SAM-26000. That's John Kennedy's Air Force One. That is the airplane that carried John Kennedy to Dallas the day he was assassinated in 1963. On that aircraft, Lyndon Johnson took the oath of office and our Constitution stood. SAM-26000 is one of the most important aircraft in our nation's history, and it's not being seen by a majority of the visitors at the museum. Thankfully, the museum has a solution in place. What the plan is, is to take these wonderful aircraft that are around, that you can see a few of them behind me, and move these over to our fourth building, which will be completed in 2015. It will allow more people to actually go through the aircraft and see the very place that Lyndon Johnson stood and took the oath of office. They can see where the air crew cut part of the bulkhead out to make room to put the president's casket inside the aircraft. And that's why this aircraft is so important to move this aircraft and all our presidential fleet and our research and development aircraft over to our next building. It is our responsibility and our duty to make sure that these aircraft and other artifacts, no matter how small or how large these artifacts are, are protected and available for the children and the future to be able to see.